We do not want to throw any of the stuff away. It is gold. And it is something we are spending a lot of time looking at, pouring through, and we may very well develop those things further. We definitely want to. Thank you, Garko. As we continue this holiday countdown to Rogue One, there was just one item on my scrapped list I just had to tackle. And for those wondering what Kathleen Kennedy was speaking of, it was for the next big Star Wars cinematic gaming experience called Star Wars 1313. It was revealed at E3 2012 that it would emphasize fast-paced combat using wit, physical fighting, and exotic weapons, as opposed to the Force or lightsaber. The game drew big inspiration from the Uncharted series, as well as Gears of War, as it actually looked like a decent third-person shooter. When it was originally conceived and shown to the public, the story revolved around a no-name bounty hunter who was summoned to navigate Coruscant's underworld metropolis of level 1313, and this excited a lot of us Star Wars fans at the time. The idea of a more mature story set in the Star Wars universe while getting to know more of the underbelly of an iconic location just seemed really intriguing. In fact, it was reported that it was to tie into the yet another scrapped idea, Star Wars Underworld, the live action television series that George Lucas was producing. Now, after its trailer and demo debuted, however, Lucas thought it would be better to explore another idea and make the story richer with instead of a no-name bounty hunter, but with a more famous bounty hunter, Boba Fett. The story from then on made certain changes to include Mr. Fett, but after Disney's acquisition of Star Wars, all video game projects were scrapped after the closing of LucasArts. However, like Robo Kennedy said, we don't want to throw away any of that stuff. And it does seem that with Disney now in charge, they're looking at various projects in old expanded universe to build the new Star Wars canon. For instance, in 2013, Disney announced they'd be making a Boba Fett spin-off film, but since the termination of Josh Trank as director, the project was put on hold for now. But it would it wouldn't surprise me one bit if they took heavy inspiration from Star Wars 1313 for the script. So whether it's scrapped or unscrapped, I have a feeling we're going to see Star Wars 1313 in some kind of way. No disintegration. As you wish. And that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching the scrap bit on Star Wars 1313. We are getting closer and closer to a new Star Wars film, and our holiday countdown to Rogue One continues in a galaxy near you this Thursday. Thanks again for watching. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. My name is Chris, and you've just been crisscrossed. Peace out.